So, episode four, I'm going to do just vocals. Just vocals, because uh, you might hear the fan behind me. There's The heat is going in here. I can't turn it off right now, but it'll probably shut off in the next few seconds. Um, I've been getting over a sore throat, so feeling better. Don't have COVID-19 yet. Um, singing voice is coming back. That's a good thing, because I have a show tomorrow. If you live in the Ypsilanti area, come down to Ziggy's, uh, Michigan Ave, right downtown. So I'll be uh, doing some poetry with some other fine folk. They will also be doing poetry and music and potentially some theater, maybe. Never know. Um, getting ready for the performance tomorrow and reflecting on... Sorry, I'm talking so much of this. I gotta say, guys, uh, one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me in my entire life happened to me uh, this week, a few nights ago, two nights ago. And uh, it's been almost 48 hours. I'm still in shock. I'm still shaking. I'm still sighing out loud, saying things to myself like, Dear God, oh Jesus, oh dear God. Things that I don't usually say, especially out loud when I'm alone. Um, so I could just I see the symptoms of PTSD, uh, which I already have, but it's it's, ooh, it's on flare right now because there was some violent activity at my house and I had to call the police for the first time in my life. And I'm 34 years old and. Uh, I've lived in Baltimore and New York City and Chicago, Southside Chicago, and I've heard gunshots before and I've known gang members and I never ever thought I would ever dial 911. I was hoping for the rest of my life, but I had to call them four times the other night and I had to talk to them for a few hours and it was fucked up. So if you know me, you know that I'm, I believe in nonviolence and I'm not perfect, but I'm a believer in nonviolence and I'm a practitioner of and I try to follow the Buddhist way of nonviolence all the time I, and I every moment practice. Practice is life. It's my entire life. It's the practice. So this was deeply disturbing to me but also I had some the violence kind of around me. I have some um sorry it's hard to get my mind together after that. Um, I have some techniques for focusing the mind and bringing myself back together. And music is one of the meditations that I do to pull myself back together after a horrifying, triggering experience. Um, so I'll get to that. I'm going to sing a song that's not mine, but it would be an original version of a song that was written by, I think, Mira. And I'll look that up and I'll put a link to the original in the text, whatever thing below. Um, I didn't write it, but I've been carrying, I saw Mira perform it maybe 15 years ago, maybe even longer, and I saw her perform it live and pretty much a cappella. I think she did perform an a cappella and it inspired me, one, that I could perform a cappella, and two, that the song just really a beautiful, nonviolent song with a sense of humor, and it just made me it was like a mantra for me, and I actually bootlegged that concert <laughs> on an actual tape recorder at the time and um, listened to it over and over again until the tape wore out. So uh, and for, for 15 years now, I've been carrying this little song around in my back pocket, and in times of extreme um, fear or um, pain or worry or distress or dark, dark or darkness, um, as some people say, um, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I think music is kind of like a healing medicine. And it also um, requires you to breathe in a consistent rhythm, which I think would help anyone come down from a panic attack, even if you're not good at singing. And it helps you bring your breath into control while focusing your mind on something else. And also just uplifting. So anybody out there is feeling bad today, I hope this little song uplifts you. Okay. Um, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I 
think actually I think it's called I am the light of this world. When you someday meet a lion and the lion says to you, I'm the biggest, baddest cat there is, and I'll shoot you, yes it's true. Well, you say to that lion that he should prepare to run. You say, I've been blessed with kindness and that's stronger than your gun. I let love heal my heart. I let compassion guide me. I know when I got me a little light and I'm gonna let it shine. Well, yeah, sometimes you get lonesome when you look into the night. But then you see how all the little stars shine with great big hope to make all of us free and bright. May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be happy. Thank you for listening.